Andrew Purcell writes, hi, could someone point me in the right direction? My daughter wants a telescope for Christmas. I've ordered her a Celestron PowerSeeker 127 EQ, like this one right here. Uh, I was wondering how would I be able to help her find or get the best picture of planets such as Saturn, Sun, and Jupiter. I understand that for the best picture capture, you need to stack a collection of photographs. How would I capture these pictures and how do I stack them? Please. Sorry if this seems like a very stupid and easy question to answer. Uh, I just have no knowledge on telescopes. Many thanks. Cool choice that you got your daughter a telescope. I wish I had a, a telescope when I was a kid. Um, I got one as a gift from my wonderful wife. So, um, and you know, it's kind of brought forth a joy that I didn't know I was missing. Um, so here's a couple things though, in terms of being able to take pictures with the telescope. A few things definitely that you wanna keep in mind. Um, first thing is this. Um, so what I have in here, uh, so your telescope, once you've assu assuming you get it, you assemble it, it's pretty straightforward. If you want to see the video of me assembling it, I'm going to link it in uh, in the corner of the thing that pops up. You can check that out. Uh, but when it comes to being able to mount the telescope with a camera specifically, uh, there's a couple things that you're going to want to ensure. One is uh, you need to get this device. What this is, a um, it's a T adapter for from Celestron. It's a Celestron branded uh, T adapter. What this allows you to do is that one, it goes right into the telescope. That's one. The second thing is what you need to do is you need to get a, uh, a T adapter to whatever the mount of your camera is. So if you, in my case, I have a Canon camera uh, and I also have a couple of micro four thirds mount cameras from Panasonic. Uh, but in those cameras, what I do is I will, well actually in both of these cameras, they're not EF mount. Um, they're both very different mounts. This is a EF M mount, the other one micro four thirds. So in order to, so what I did was I essentially got myself a T adapter to an EOS, AKA EF mount. All it does is it literally just kind of screws together just like this, right? Um, and once it's screwed in, this would then simply mount right onto uh, any EF adapter. Now, if your camera is not an EF adapter, but let's say you have a mirrorless, right? So uh, any mirrorless camera from Sony, like an E-mount camera, or any Panasonic or uh, Olympus that have Micro Four Thirds, or Canon, which have an RF or uh, EFM or EF or EFS, they would all mount on this. Um, what this one here is, this is from a company called Opteca. Uh, it's a EF mount um, to from a T adapter to EF mount adapter. You can just uh, look for it on Amazon and uh, you should be able to find it without any problem. Now, once you have the appropriate adapter, all you have to do is uh, just simply uh, screw this thing right on here, just like this. And once it's screwed on, just stick it into the telescope as such, and your thing is going to be, uh, you know, ready to go. Now, once you've taken the photos on your camera, this is where gonna, it's going to get a little uh, technical. So, um, depend. Usually, the process. There's a couple ways to do it. The way that I know, it's not the best way. The way that I know um, is to use the photo merge tool where one can stack a bunch of images. I actually did it for this particular Orion constellation. I didn't take it with the telescope. I actually took it just with the camera straight. Uh, I happened to have a 50 millimeter lens on me and I was on the road um, and I took this uh, photo of the Orion constellation using this method. Um, essentially it was, um, uh, I basically took like maybe half a dozen uh, or so photos in RAW, which I uh, took at the, um, uh, I think the lowest ISO, or you can see in the video what the settings were, uh, in terms of when I was taking the photos. I took multiple photos, and, uh, and then I went into photo merge within Photoshop 
uh, to stack those images. That's method one. Now, there's a second way to do it. I've never tried this, but uh, it's one of those things that I was looking at. It's actually an astrophotography guide. It's called, if you Google uh, for sky at night, how to stack DSLR images of the moon. And uh, it basically shows that you can check out an app called Auto Stack Art, right? And uh, if you use that app, uh, this, this web page has, uh, what I'll do is I'll, I'll link this web page in the description below. I've never done this method, but uh, it's one of those things I put in my favorites to check out and try uh, on my own time. And uh, so hopefully you find it a value. Maybe it's, um, you're able to take some photos, let me know. Uh, if you've got an Instagram you posted there, uh, do hook it up. Let me know in the comment section below. Hope this was helpful to you. I'll see you soon.